Hello, today I would like to share with you the topic classifying students' learning patterns using R sequence analysis packages, the impact of procrastination on performance. An analytical framework is depicted in the current slide to describe the process of carrying out sequence analysis. Data are extracted from the NUS LMS called Luminous, followed by data management using the various R packages. Student learning sequences and the various sequence indicators are created using the package TrialMyR. Next, clustering stack analysis is carried out to produce the four cluster learner typology and with the aid of sequential graphs to explain the characteristics of the typology. The model selection procedure is carried out to produce the regression models with the reporting of the relative importance of the variables to explain the variance of performance. The slide summarizes the procedure of sequence analysis, stating the various R packages used for the entire analytical process. The data management uses read Excel, DPLYR, Tiny R, Duplicate, and Trial Miner. The main package for generating sequences, sequence tabulants, and uh, this similar matrix is the package trial mine. Package factor extra is used to determine the number of clusters. The package SEQI plot generates the sequential plots to explain the characteristics of the learning typology. Five R packages are used for model selection, and function LM and GLM generate the regression models, and the package really import generate the relative importance of the variable. Profile analysis are carried out to describe the characteristics of the four cluster learner typology. These four clusters are named the pro procrastinate learners, the scattered learner, the late but persistent learner, and the early and persistent learner. Both the stage distribution and the sequence index plot show that the procrastinate learners are late starters in learning, shown by the large patch of green color at the start of the course. As there is no learning that takes place at the early part of the course, the entropy line remains flat with zero values. The scatter learner display a different learning sequence pattern. These students start watching videos at, the, at an early date, but the time span on learning is much lesser. The late but persistent learners start late in learnings, however, the intensity of learning happens in the later part of the course. The early and persistent learners is the largest group with 65 students. Most of these students start early in their video watching and most of them spend 2 hours and above at the start of the course. The entropy plots display the diversity of time behavior from the start to the end of the whole course time frame. Inferential analysis are carried out following a systematic procedure of variable and model selection. The variable 10 to 12 midnight, Saturday launching, and 5 to 10 minutes per launch, and sequence turbulence are selected to include in the final models. Five model selection packages are used for model selection using 10 selection methods from the five listed packages and function in the current slide. The package Relay Import is used to generate the relative importance of the variable. The findings from the current study reveal that the learning typology shows that the early and the persistent learner perform better than the procrastinate learners. Learning procrastination adversely affects student performance. In contrast, submission procrastination is positively affecting student performance. The more times on viewing online video, the better the performance of students. Students that use a learning strategy by varying their time spent over the entire course perform better. Spending 5 to 10 minutes per launch on the day of the week Saturday and during the time of the day from 10 to 12 pm are favorite times and timelines for online learning. Thank you for watching.